hear myself talking. You know why? Because I got these on. Oh, hey, everybody in here, sitting here in my new wood cutting gear, having my coffee. And I've got these ear thingies on. And this is, this is awesome. It is really pretty comfortable. And it took me forever to put it together because, and if I'm talking too loud, it's only because I can't hear myself talking because I got these on. There were no instructions to put this together. But this goes up like this. And I know that these ear thingies go up. They slide up, but I haven't figured out how to do that. But yeah, I had to figure this out, how to put the different things on it myself. And I did it. And I look pretty. I need to tighten it. I There's a little strap in back that tightens it. Look, don't I look great? And, oops, oops, oops. So you know what time it is, you guys? Let me see if I can hold this right. Oops. So you know what time it is, you guys? Holy my hair, that's terrible. Yeah, I just got up. Um, I hurt my back moving some stuff around yesterday. Um, actually, it was the day before yesterday. I was helping Mr. T make some steps. And uh, he doesn't want to be on camera just quite yet. I don't think he's just quite ready, but maybe someday. Who knows? So, um, and I'm not going to feel any film anything over there if he's not comfortable. But I hurt my back and it's like I have to sit in this one position <laughs> or else it hurts. If I bend over, it hurts. If I twist, it hurts. So I'm just going to kind of get loosened up here and then see if I can go out and test this new little mini chainsaw. Well, it's still kind of rainy outside. I'm going to pull some limbs in here and I'm just going to try and saw a few of them up and see what it does. I know it's probably going to put wood shavings all over the place. My back is killing me. I am going to go check the chickens and see how many eggs I got, if any. And it's going to be an indoor day today. And it's going to be a very, very short, short video. So I'm just going to see if I can get out there into that van and find any eggs. Let the doggies out. They've already been let out once. Come back in and just find some indoor stuff to do. In the meantime, look at this shot I got of Judy. Oh my goodness, she's got her little sweater on. And she's just kind of posing there, kind of like a pin-up calendar girl sort of a pose. And her little ear is bent over. Oh my goodness, this dog is just so precious. Come on out, babies. Go get your grubs. Grub Terra grubs. Oh my gosh, and I put a few little oats in there. They absolutely love them. Check it out, they're just like totally going for the grubs and kicking out most of the oats. Before you know it, all those grubs are going to be gone. <laughs> They just love them. I scattered them all around in different bowls. It's so wet out here, I didn't want to throw it on the ground. Beautiful chickens. All right, let's go see the eggs. Oh, looky there, the bottom file cabinet part. Two nice white eggs and a brown one. Nothing on top of the file cabinet. They are going back to roosting in that. Nothing in this one. Nope, not even chicken poop this time. Oh, let's go over to this back one. Yes, indeed, one more egg. Yay! Look at that pretty little holly tree. I'm pretty sure that's holly. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Mr. Lucas has one of these over on his property. And it's all nice and trimmed up all pretty. Actually, it's two. Two of them. Um, I might go and just trim some of the lower limbs off so and to make it more like a tree. And just let it grow because it's actually kind of pretty. You know, having a little bit of green out here. like it. I'm going to go... Look at the wood pile. I can't believe that I forgot to cover them up last night. I was sitting out watching the chickens and I didn't even know it was going to rain. But anyhow, I, I like to leave them uncovered a little bit during the day. What's up, Judy? What's up? And then I uh, cover them up overnight. Well, I forgot to do it last night, so they're going to be soaked out there. <sighs> yeah, look at that. Definitely, definitely got rained on. And <laughs> look at even some of the old mushrooms that were growing on them have rehydrated. Oh, brother, I'm going to have to get those vines off because I know they're poison ivy, but look at all this. This got really, really wet last night. Well, I don't know if it's going to rain more today. I'm going to go ahead and cover it up. Uh, you know, live and learn. You know what I'm wondering? Is it that little chainsaw? And saw down things about the size of that. Might have to hit it from a couple angles, but I would rather have just this nice tree here and not all this other stuff next to it. So who knows? 
I do think that I can do my little holly tree over there on the other side of those trees by the van. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to turn that, that up with that little chainsaw. Okay, you can see a few little wood shavings down there. I have already give it a, given it a try and it does work. So let's see if I didn't, uh, hopefully I didn't wear the battery down. So let's just, this is not exactly the way it's supposed to be done, but I, this is just for demonstration purposes. Let me hold it a little bit more steady. That was fast. <laughs> that was definitely fast. Um, and I wasn't really putting any pressure on it at all. So that's pretty cool. Let me put this over here. Let's try one a little bit bigger. Look at all that beautiful biochar and wood ash I've got. All right. Let me try and hold this kind of steady. It's kind of hard because of how I've got the, the camera, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I'm barely even pressing it. Look at that, barely even pressing it. Beautiful, yep, okay. I didn't really need to cut these pieces any, any smaller. Uh, what do you think? You think it can do that? I, I'd rather have a longer piece. Um, <laughs> I don't have any longer pieces. I'll tell you what. Let's just let's just do it a little bit. Uh because I'm afraid I don't want it to, to let go and me cut my hand off. So let's just try this. Oh yeah. Look at that. Without any effort at all. Now, I'm not really holding this right. I probably am not doing it right, but it's cutting. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's going right through. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to do some pretty big uh, pieces with this. I know that I'm going to be able to at least do that holly tree. Maybe some of those other ones. I'll have to approach it from different angles, but this thing. Oh, yeah. And... It, the first time I tried it, it kind of scared me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I was kind of scared because I didn't know what it was going to be like. But this is not heavy. So I can, I can manage it. Let's try one more. Love it! And if I were putting the better pressure on it, um, it would probably cut it even faster. So now, look at this. Hang on, let me put this down. Look at my floor. <laughs> that's all right. I'll sweep it up. <sighs> well, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm just going to watch some DVDs that Miss Donna B gave me. Oh, I got this in the in the mail, in my mailbox. Check it out. It's a seed catalog, so I'm going to start dreaming about springtime. Uh, I did want to thank all the new people who have donated. I'm going to mention them at the end of the video, so please watch the outro. Uh, there's some new people. I have enough in the GoFundMe account to pay for his very first treatment altogether. You know, that's where I take him in. He stays overnight. You know, he gets a shot and then he gets a shot the next morning. Um, so that's all going to be paid for. And with the PayPal donations, I've got almost enough to cover the rest. So you guys have been amazing. I'm just overwhelmed. I mean, I'm I'm just overwhelmed with how quickly this has been happening. So thank you so much. And I will thank all the new people and include all the other people that donated before or joined the GoFundMe at the end of the, at the end of this video. And uh, the links are still going to be down below. So if you still want to be able to contribute, um, those links are there. And if you can't, you know what? I understand. I was telling somebody else I couldn't afford to give to somebody else right now myself either. But um, watching the videos, like I've said, watching the videos, liking, you know, subscribing, sharing, commenting, all that kind of stuff helps so very much. So thank you. And I notice a lot of you have been doing that. I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.